Well, let, let's talk to one, Dr. Asad Khan. Um, you've been suffering from long COVID. Just tell us about, well, first of all, the symptoms that you've had, and, uh, but then also the treatment you've been getting. Certainly, thank you very much. So I acquired the um, illness on a respiratory COVID ward in November 2020. I developed unbearable skin rashes, memory loss, inflammation around the heart, bladder incontinence, and a disabling condition called POTS, which made it impossible to sit or stand due to nausea and dizziness. And by August, I was losing weight. I was lying in a darkened room with blindfolds and earplugs, and I honestly didn't care if I fell asleep and never woke up again. And I've had to be my own doctor, researcher, and advocate. And while some clinicians have empathized and believed, others have suggested that it would just get better with time, or it was psychological, or that they were waiting for research and uh, they couldn't do anything in the interim. And despite my knowledge and my access, uh, it's been a nightmare to get the right care. I can only imagine what it must be like for the average person. Um, as for the treatment, it's quite simple. It's uh, similar to dialysis. Blood is taken out of one arm. It's run through a machine which cleans it of blood clots and it's returned to the other arm. I've had seven cycles of this treatment so far. My blood was so full of clot material that it blocked the machine on four occasions. They've pulled multiple clots out of my arm veins. And what is really interesting is that all of the usual clotting blood tests like D-dimer and fibrinogen were normal in my case. So how are you feeling now? Well, I arrived in Germany in a wheelchair and I nearly fainted in the clinic waiting room. But now after seven treatments, I can walk short distances. I can look at a computer screen. I can read scientific texts again. I can eat foods I had become intolerant to. And thankfully, the nausea is gone. I still have more treatments to go, but uh, I do feel like things are moving in the right direction. And uh, it seems like I finally got a chance of getting my life back again. This appears to be a really promising treatment. Clearly, we need more resources and funding uh, because the, the last thing I want to see is desperate patients being forced to self-medicate with potent drugs like anticoagulants. Uh, therefore, experienced clinicians should, be, should feel able to discuss these treatments with their patients, weighing up the risks and benefits because researchers from Cape Town and San Francisco have demonstrated microclots in the blood of long COVID sufferers beyond a shadow of a doubt. Mm -hmm. It is a myth that long COVID and other invisible illnesses such as ME are psychological just because certain tests are normal. Patients can be very sick with normal tests and it is quite clear that in long COVID, our tissues are starved of oxygen due to these clots in the blood vessels. We are not deconditioned. We are not anxious due to the lockdown and talking therapies and rehabilitation are not going to fix this. Exercise only makes us worse, and patients who are sick for months and months are unlikely to get better on their own. A simple bedside test called a venous oxygen saturation can demonstrate how ill we are. Okay. Mine was 32. The normal adult range is 65 to 75. And just briefly, Beata, um, to you once again, Dr. Beata Yeager. Um, long COVID is clearly a phenomenon we are still struggling to learn about. Uh, but do you think this could be the key to understanding what it is doing to the human body, these microclots? Yes, I think this is a key phenom phenomenon. And uh, Professor Pretorius and Professor Lauchter uh, were, were the first to demonstrate that it's very difficult to dissolve these clots. And they now come to join my clinic uh, in the middle of November. And we will, uh, they come to revalidate my uh, results from treating by now 104, only 104 uh, patients. But the good news about it is, uh, it is that some people just need one treatment and they can get rid of all symptoms. Others need five. I've been treating um, a, a printer from the UK. He needed 14 treatments. That was the maximum. But he came in with a wheelchair and he walked out upright on his feet. And this is a cruel disease and it affects worldwide 400 million people and um, the mechanical um, removal of clots is one possibility 
anticoagulation will help also. So we just have to demonstrate <clears throat> that this is a generalized vessel disease and people need quick treatment because my patients were all very young, very sportive, doing marathon, being caretakers, being, being children of my patients, uh, being um, really people in the middle of their lives and they should have it back. All right. Dr. Biasa Yeager, fascinating to hear about that treatment and also Dr. Asad Khan to hear about your treatment and very good luck actually with your recovery. Let's hope it continues. Thank you so much, both of you, for talking to us today. Thank you.